Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the question for absolute value inequalities. So what we have to do now is to observe the situation. Notice that we have a modulus x minus 5, which is always positive because of the modulus. Then we have a modulus for x, again, which is always positive. So in this case, we are allowed to cross multiply because we know that the variable is a the situation is a positive variable so cross multiplying and we will have the modulus of x less than equals to 2 multiply with the modulus of x minus 5 state the restriction where the x cannot be equals to 0 and also x cannot be equals to 5 if we have these two values, then the situation will be undefined because it is located in the denominator. So now, the definition for the modulus actually is equal to square root of x square. So what we have to do now is square both sides. And we will have x square less than equals to 4 multiply with x minus 5 square. So kindly focus on the right hand side. So x square less than equals to 4 multiply with x square minus 10x plus 25. So we will have 4x square minus 40x plus 100 minus x square. And we will have greater equals to 0. Simplify the situation 3x square minus 40x plus 100 greater equals to 0 so now we have a quadratic on the left hand side so it's time for us to factor the situation so if we factorize the situation and we will have 3x minus 10 multiply with x minus 10 less than equals to 0 since this is a simplest form so we have to determine the sign which is a positive because greater equals to 0. Next, we have to split the situation and do remember, always assume positive. So, 3x minus 10 greater equals to 0, x minus 10 greater equals to 0. So, x will be greater equals to 10 over 3, followed by x greater equals to 10. So, now I'm going to illustrate the situation in a number line. Then I'm going to locate the value. So where we will have 10 over 3 on the left and then 10 on the right. So do remember to take note, x cannot be equal to 0 and x cannot be equal to 5. So kindly locate the value 0 over here and 5 over here. Just to take note. Then illustrate the situation in the number line kindly focus on x greater than equals to 10 over 3 where we have a dense circles then towards the right followed by x greater equals to 10 so fill up the empty space with the negative because this is a positive number line so multiply with the sign we will have a positive sign followed by negative positive we have negative then positive positive we will have a positive so kindly refers to the sign in here we wish to have a positive sign so here will be the location so kindly take notes zero is not included so we write our answer negative infinity until 0 where 0 is not included union start from 0 until 10 over 3 where the 0 is not included as well so union start from 10 until infinity where the infinity is not included so in here what we call the interval form okay what we call this is the interval form so kindly express the situation in set notation 
or set solution set x such that x is less than 0 or the value of x is greater than 0 but less than equals to 10 over 3 or x greater or equals to 10 so this will be the solution set thank you so much for watching this video if you think the video is useful kindly consider to like comment share and subscribe